Hello, my name is Patrick McGarry of Create and Innovate Art, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about um, what got me started in painting and what got me started in art. I started about, oh, in 2013, I sat down and did my first drawing in about 28 years, and I realized what was taken from me most of my life. I was realizing that a long lost love was taken from me, and I need to get back into something that I truly love, and that is art. And um, I didn't do any painting until about 2017. And when I was first learning how to paint, I came up with this. This is what I did, and it's not much, but that's my very first art project I did in uh, 2017. Now you look at that, and uh, I went from that, and then by the time I went to my fourth painting, I came up with this and this painting was pretty much my breakthrough on what was getting me into really learning how to do real painting and this is a painting of our dog Peanut. Um, she passed away about four years ago, God rest her soul, and uh, I was just looking at an iPhone and I just came up with this. Now my next painting, this is about the 14th painting I've ever done, I decided to take on an iris. And this iris, I kind of got into it and I just did it <clears throat> and I mixed colors together. And what's important to me when I do these paintings is a lot of my paintings are layer upon layer. I believe in not cutting any shortcuts because if you really want something to turn out with anything you do, if you do any shortcuts, eventually it's not going to hold up or fall apart. When you have a layer upon layer, your paintings last a lot longer and the colors pop out more. Now this painting right here is uh, the very first thing I saw when I arrived in Kauai. And this is the resort we stayed at at Poipu Beach. And it's called The Road to Paradise. Now it isn't my best painting, but when I show it to people, people ask me what kind of technique did you use to do it? And I just tell them, well, I, I just came up with it as I did it. You know, I just let my mind take over. And uh, that's the art, that's a beauty about art is once you start getting into it and you really start learning, man, you start coming up with some real stuff. Now this right here is my very first portrait. This is the fourth, 49th painting I've ever done. This is of me and this was one of the first few uh, oil paintings I've ever done. And uh, when I did this, I painted a blue background and I came up with the waves because I do a lot of water flows in my paintings because I like, I like the sound of water flow. When you, because uh, when I suffered from a traumatic experience years ago, I found myself sitting near a pond with koi fish in it. And just the sound of water just kind of helped me gaze into the water and it was taking my mind off of my traumatic experiences. And uh, with a lot of my paintings, I like to have a lot of flow. Now this painting right here is something a little different, more abstract. But this is called Spiral to Another World. And uh, I used a uh, magenta for a background and uh, I came up with these spirals as I did it and I decided to mix white with yellow and then I used uh, follow green for the dark colors to make this really pop out. And so that when people walk in a room, like let's say this is hanging at a doctor's office or an attorney's office and people are all stressed out. They take a look at this and it just they just kind of really look at it and it takes their mind off of what they're going through. Now this painting right here. It's probably one of the most difficult paintings I've ever done. Now you saw my very first painting, and this is three years later. I came up with this, and this is of the Nepali coast in northwestern Kauai. It's called Nepali Love. Now what motivated me to do this painting is I was sitting on a catamaran sipping champagne with, with dolphins swimming around the boat. And when I saw this view, I said to myself, I got to do a painting of the most, one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. And that's on the Nepali coast. So that's why it's called Nepali Love. Now the next painting 
is of the Painted Hills in Eastern Oregon, near a town called Mitchell, Oregon, out in the middle of nowhere. But it's one of the most impressive views I've ever seen, and it's something that a lot of people go to, but you have to really drive to get to this place. It's about, oh, I'd say about 120 miles west of John Day, Oregon. And uh, like I said, it's out in the middle of nowhere. But it's one of those things that I looked at and I said to myself, I got to do a painting of that place. And uh, here it is. And this is this was painted in September of 2021. So we're talking just four years after learning how to paint. This one is called Koi Boys Hanging. And this is one of the things that I looked at when I suffered traumatic experiences and I look at the water and I look at koi fish and it just takes my mind off of what's going on in this world. And I thought I'd use real bold, bright colors with a lot of water flowing and with these koi fish just swimming around, just enjoying themselves. And uh, this is a painting that I always wanted to have a doctor and attorney buy so they can hang it in their office and take people's minds off their everyday stressful life. Now the next painting is something I thought I'd be bold and try to take on to see if I could do it. And this is called Man of the Earth. And uh, this was done, oh, about a year ago. And it's an oil painting. And uh, most of my paintings got about four or five layers of paint on them. And I don't cut any corners, but that's, if you want the colors to pop, that's what you need to do. A lot of my paintings, I've expressed that I really enjoy doing what I do and they have different subject matters because I'm not afraid to take on different subject matters. And if you're interested in any of my paintings, contact my website at Create and Innovate at Crop. There's my website. Take a look at my website and see all the paintings I've done. And. Uh, before I sign off, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll go further into showing you more of my paintings, but I'll teach you how to paint. And I'll teach you how to paint the right way, the way the masters did, if you want to really do an art piece that you want to someday sell. But uh, I just thought I'd bring you guys to my video channel, start a video channel, because I really want to bring people to another world. Thank you very much.